So in this video, I wanted to share with you three exercises that you can implement for your knee so you can build a stronger knee, a more mobile knee, a knee that's more capable in the mountains, whether you're a skier, hiker, or climber. This will help you build some strength. All three of these exercises are taken from my program, Mountain Proof Knee. So if you want to learn some new exercises, things that don't require a gym that you can do outside in nature, then check out that program. Our first exercise is the straddle good morning. The aim of the good morning is to strengthen the hamstrings as well as the muscles that aid in stabilizing your knee. This variation is something I find to be a nice little warm up. As the name suggests, it's an excellent way to loosen up that early morning stiffness that we feel in our legs and our spine. Take a wide stance with strong feet and initiate the movement by sending your hips backwards. Keep your knees as straight as you can as you hinge at the hips. As you move, focus on drawing your shoulder blades backwards and down to set the upper back in a nice solid position and imagine lengthening your head forward. Perform 8 to 12 reps and if you like, take a 5 to 10 second pause at the bottom of the movement. And if you find that easy, then extend the lever arm, which in this case happens to be your arms. So reach out overhead, drive your thumbs upwards and out to promote external rotation, which the shoulders love. And it's a nice little upper body bonus for this movement. Our next move is the bent knee calf raise. This is best done with a little something to support you. So perform this up against a wall or a table or just hug your nearest tree like I am. We're going to begin at the top of your tippy toes and with a slight bend in the knees. Squeeze your butt here and keep those glute muscles locked on as you drive the heels upward as far as you can. Take a little pause at the top then begin to slowly lower your heels to the ground. This will challenge that ankle mobility and the all-important foot strength and aim to keep a straight line between your shoulders, hips and knees throughout this movement. The calves are muscles that love a bit of endurance, so you can perform anywhere from 10 up to 25, 30 reps here, but just aim to reach that point of fatigue and call it a set just before your form begins to fail. The obvious level up with this exercise is to perform it on a single leg, but don't jump the gun on this one. Play the long game. In Mountain Proof Knees, I recommend sticking to the bilateral variation until you can perform at least three or four sets of 25 reps easily. Our next move is the reduced depth sissy squat. The aim of the sissy squat is to strengthen the entire lower body, but in a much different way than what you may be used to with your regular squat. You need to start by lowering to a wall, a park bench, or in this case, a tree, so that you can learn to control this movement at first within a limited range of motion. Much like the bent knee calf raise, we want to keep the glutes locked on throughout this movement. So try and keep a straight body line from shoulders through to knees and brace your core by tucking your ribs slightly. Enjoy that eccentric phase, the lowering part of the movement. That's where the gains are going to be made because the body can often handle a lot more load as the muscles lengthen. Breathe out powerfully on the way up and aim to prevent collapsing at the hips and reset if necessary before beginning the next rep. Obviously the aim here is to gain more range of motion and control in this movement, but that will take time. It's taken me about six months to be able to reach the ground under control without support. And although I am doing it here, I always recommend keeping a hand on an object close by just for that extra level of safety and stability in this movement. Probably the best part of this movement is how much it's going to improve your limbo game. Whenever you're training a movement that's new to you, I always like to recommend just performing one set. If you go all out and do four or five sets on something that's completely new to you, then you might find when you wake up tomorrow, you'll have trouble getting out of bed or much worse. So just remember there's always tomorrow to do more reps. You can put more reps in, but you can't take them out. It's a one way deal. So if these movements are new to you, I recommend just starting out with one set, testing the waters, seeing how you feel tomorrow, and taking it from there. 
So have fun and explore these movements, integrate them into your own training. And if you're enjoying these movements and you want to take them further, check out Mountain Proof Knees. The link is in the description. That's all for this video, guys. I will see you on the summit. I'm also testing out these uh, very, very barefoot shoes. They're more like socks with a bit of rubber on the bottom. And, and I'm carrying you like 12 kilos. You're hiking up and down more to week. You just have to take it slow. You have to focus on where you're stepping. As long as you do that, it's all good.